NXT series here. Daniel Jeremiah joined by Bucky Brooks and very pleased to have with us pass rusher extraordinaire from Eastern Kentucky, Noah Spence. How you doing, Noah? I'm great. How are you guys? Good. Good. good Bucky, good. this guy right here, I'll tell you what, man. I knew about you because you were a big-time recruit coming out of high school. Yeah. End up at Ohio State. But my first time I really got to dig in and study you was this year. And you were wrecking shop. You're like a one-man wrecking crew <laughs> out there, out there for EKU. How did this year? How did you feel this year went for you? Um, I felt it, it was it was great. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a blessing to be able to come back and play football for another year. And um, yeah, I mean, just to just to come back and like play the sport I love. And um, yeah, I mean, just be out there playing football again. So let's talk briefly about the process. How did you end up at Eastern Kentucky coming out of the situation at Ohio State? Just kind of talk about the trials and tribulations. Um, there, there was a lot going on, you know, uh, with me getting suspended and everything. And then I ended up uh, talking to Coach Meyer, and he told me he had, his best friend was the head coach at Eastern Kentucky. And I was like, oh well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, and um, he uh, set up a meeting with me and him, and uh, I ended up going to. Going to Eastern Kentucky. So. What was that? What was that like when you first got there at, at EKU? Okay, you come down, you're dropping down a level of competition. Everybody on that team knows who you are. What did you do when you got to that football team to fit in to let those guys know, hey, I'm not, I'm not above you guys. I'm one of you guys. Um, basically, just act the same as I always do, man. I, I respect everybody, you know. Uh, I treat everybody the same, so I didn't, I didn't make myself feel like I was bigger than any, anything or any the program or anything like that. So What's the – what's the? I want to hit this one real quick, Buck. This is kind of the questions we would ask if we were in a combine interview. I'm sure you've got – you get asked these types of questions all through this whole process. Right. But the one thing uh, that you've learned, the biggest takeaway, the biggest lesson you've learned, you've been on, a, on an interesting journey here as we head towards the draft. If you were just to break it down to one thing, what's the one thing that you've learned through this whole process? Um, stay humble and keep God first through it all. That's a good deal. Go ahead, Buck. So now you go to Eastern Kentucky. You put up nice numbers playing small school competition, but all scouts want to see how you do against big-time competition at the Senior Bowl. I know you had the experience of Ohio State in your back pocket. What was your approach when you went to the Senior Bowl? What allowed you to dominate the level that you dominated during those practices? Um, I knew it was it, it was a big opportunity for me, and I felt like I, I just knew, like, coming in there, I, I could play football with those guys, and I just – did all I could to dominate. So. Well, you dominate. You even knocked down a coach. I actually had, <laughs> I put out a vine out there that showed you one of the one-on-one -on – -one, or actually it was a one-on-one -on -one pass rush. And when you're doing one-on-one -on -one pass rush, for those who know, you've got a coach. It's usually like a quality control coach sitting there just holding the ball. <laughs> dude, dude, took him down, man. You hit the guy. Uh, but what I want to do here, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to show some video of you playing. I'm going to let Bucky kind of break down your game. And then we're going to flip the script. We're going to show Whitney Merciless playing at the next level and let you play scout. But, Bucky, what do you see here? This is a senior bowl. What do you see from Noah Spence? You know, the one thing I watched and, and I noticed when I watched Spence is first step quickness. Your get off. There it is. You took the dude down. <laughs> your get off, your ability to play and anticipate the snap count, your ability to turn speed into power. And to me, it appears that you have a couple of different moves in the repertoire. So when looking at you on tape, I can see your game translating well to the National Football League on third down, obvious passing situations, that you can be a closer, a guy to get to the quarterback. All That's right, what I saw when I looked at it. Let's go look. We saw some senior bowl footage. I think we have some footage of you here at EKU. Mm -hmm. uh, we can show this and break it down here. First of all, the single digit I'm a big fan of. <laughs> yeah, great yeah. call by yeah, you. Yeah. All right, Buck, go go have at it here. No, being able to hunt, being able to hunt off the edge, and then in a, a big game against Kentucky, you want to see you have a steady and consistent presence. I saw that. It's important when you're looking at small school guys that when they have an opportunity to play on the biggest and brightest stage, they show up. And I felt like in these games, Kentucky, NC State, you showed up. And so it led me to believe that competition wasn't going to be a factor, that you were going to be ready to go when you stepped up and played against big-time players at the senior bowl. For those that don't know, there's a big-time sack right there against Kentucky. There's other plays in this Kentucky game. You're getting triple team. How much attention were you seeing on a regular basis at that level? Um, a lot, a lot of that uh, triple team, like bringing the running backs and like tight ends and stuff to come try to block me. I don't remember you uh, coming off the field either. No. Uh. Uh. How tiring is that for those that don't know? When you're not, you got you got to beat two, three guys on a, on a snap by snap basis. Um, you just got you just got to work that much harder in practice. You know, um, my coaches always told me that I was going to be in there the whole game, so I don't even think about coming out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, I'll take every rep of practice too. You know, yeah. so I can just be ready for it in the game. We in scouting, we talk about having a full gas tank. He has a full gas tank. Full gas tank, absolutely. Motor, motor runs hot. All right, playing a lot of snaps. All right, now you get to play scout. Okay. All right. We're gonna throw Whitney Merciless up here, who had a great year last year for the Houston Texans, and we see a little bit of your style in his play. So we want to show you some plays here. You tell us what you're seeing here and what makes him so good. Definitely a good get off. It's a nice move with the spin. You have the spin in your repertoire? 
I want to get it. I don't got it right now. I want to get that. <laughs> well, you want to get it. It looks pretty when it's, when, it's, when it's done. So talk about get off. How are you able to really, like, as a pass rusher, what are the things that you look for? Are you looking at the ball? Are you looking at a hand squeeze? What allows some rushers to have a great get off where others aren't able to get off as fast? Um, looking at the ball, a lot of anticipation sometimes. And um, it, it, you just got to feel it, you know. Um, a, l a lot of it is looking at the ball, though, and then. Reading we got some more. Let's uh, let's show another play here. I want to get another play. We've seen the spin now from Merciless. You're going to add that to your repertoire. Neat. Let's see what he does right here. Uh-oh. What do you see right here? What makes this play? He, he, squo he squeezed and, um, you know what I mean, just he read the play really well. What's, where are his eyes? Like his recognition right there is a key thing. A lot of times we talk about hands and feet. Yeah. How important are your eyes when you're trying to set the edge like that? Real big, real big, um, especially when you're setting the edge. And, like, if anything's coming back your way, you always got to be looking in the back of the season. I think we got on the next. So. I think we've got one more play for you, man. He's two for two so far, two and you're, and you're scouting. Let's All right, it. we'll give you one more shot here. In the middle of the defense now. Ooh. Here go that spin again. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> I need that because it looks so pretty. <laughs> what, what makes it work here? Watch what he does. Well, first of all, he's going against the center, and I mean, um, I guess the center's probably not used to going against. That see how see how too he got him going one yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you can move, once you can move his feet, you got him set up. Had him yeah. set up. And yeah. by the way, yeah, almost. ice picked him. You got uh, you got some opportunity now. Once you make a sack at the next level, what's your uh, what's your thing? You know, we got. Yeah. Do you ever think? Because Von Miller has Ooh. a thing where he dances. Well, we got Jared Allen that. does the whole lasso <laughs> thing. Yeah, you got to so have so a. You, thing. Got, you have to have a signature. Thing. I don't got one yet. You don't have it yet. yet. No, I yeah, we need to work. All right, see after the first need, sack. We need, we need to work on that. All right, but <laughs> how long are you in California? Um, just till Saturday. All right, when you pack your bags, don't forget you need to pack a spin move, and you need to pack a celebration. That's that's what you got to do. Got to do. Everyone has to have a signature. Got to have a signature move. Got to go to. Have to. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, no, I appreciate you taking some time and, and spending it with us here. We wish you the best of luck as Thank you me. march towards your NFL journey here. Thanks for having me. Uh, man, this is, a, this is a very good pass rush. Team looking for a pass rush. We've got one right here in Noah Spence, and that's going to do it for us here on this episode. But you need to check out all of our Move the Six 360 series. We've got some of the best players in the draft coming in this studio. We're going to scout them, and then they're going to have to do a little scouting themselves. <laughs>